All right, so it looks like um, we're ready to go here. This is Lights Out Streaming, brought to you by Jacksonville Roofing USA. And we are doing the lag. Nathan Rose on the right, Horacio Jarquin on the left. And here's the lag for the break. Race the seven. Winner's bracket action. Playing on the beautiful gold crown three. He's got brand new felt on it. And it looks like uh, Nathan Rose has the first, first break. And we're underway. You guys stay tuned and do me a favor. If you don't mind, please share the stream. Let's get everybody out here watching. Let them know what's going on. 44 viewers is way too low. We need to be hitting 500. Come on, let's make pool great again. Let's get it out there and get everybody involved. All right, moving on to our next sponsors, uh, Stitch It To Me Embroidery, which is the uh, very lovely Nikki Cuellar playing in our event. She also takes care of all of our uh, embroidery, clothing apparel, and whatnot for the tour. Also, we have uh, AZ Billiards, does all of our write-ups for us every, uh, after every event, which is very cool. And uh, USA Pool League. USA Pool League helps us a lot for our raffles that we do to help raffle off the queue and add more money to all the events. Also, we'd like to thank a uh, big shout-out to Jason Richko, him and his family with the uh, Safety Harbor and Resort and Spa right here in the Clearwater area. Those guys treat us really nice. They, they take care of our, our room for us when we're here in the uh, Strokers area. So we certainly greatly appreciate all of that. You guys uh, ever in the area want a mini vacay or a regular vacay, very lovely uh, resort and spa there at uh, Clearwater. And I believe it's on the bay, Tampa Bay that is. It's right on the water, very nice place. If you guys, uh, you guys ever want to go, go there, just mention uh, the Sunshine State Tour and just tell them thank you for, uh, for hooking us up. I know we certainly do. Also, we have our, uh, our latest uh, sponsors, Jamison Daniels. Uh, it's going to be a real big uh, sponsor for us this year. Uh, doing great things for pool as usual for the last couple of years. So if you guys see him around, he needs, and he's certainly an avid pool player as well. So you guys see him around, tell him thank you, shake his hand. We greatly appreciate everything that he does for the, for the pool community here in all of Florida. Not just our tour, but everyone else's. He gets involved. And last but not least, we have Eastern Billiards right out of Kissimmee, Florida. Those guys are someone else that uh, trying to uh, bring the sport back, get uh, get the players involved in uh, making more money for the players out here. If you guys need anything at Easton Billiards, they're uh, promoting the Andy Claw. If you haven't tried the new stuff that they've come out with, it's a must try. You should really check it out. It's some really good stuff. So if you need some new, new felt for your pool table, call up Eastern Billiards. They also uh, handle all the Howl products as well. They make great tips. And uh, if you guys need anything like that, give Eastern Billiards a call. They can hook you up. All right, so here we go. Back to the action. First rock, race to seven. And uh, looks like uh, Nathan Rose missed the, uh, the one ball. So they're gonna be going back and forth here, it looks like. And let's see, it looks like this table might be a little on the too bright side. Let's see if I can do something about that. Somehow it changed back to default for some reason or another. We will certainly fix that.
There we go. That should look a little bit better for you. I uh, really don't know what happened there. The reason why it got so bright. Looked like my settings changed and who knows. Oh. There we go. I should do it. Does that look a little better for you guys out there? So uh, that should be a little better for you guys now. Hopefully that looks better for you. You guys see that okay? Sound is uh, still okay for you guys out there? You're not having any issues that I'm not aware of at the moment? I think that one still looks okay. Like Steve No and uh, David Grossman's having a battle over there. It's four to three, Steve No at the moment. Going to seven. Winners bracket action. Got Jason Richko over there playing. Got some really good players here. Randall McLucky banging it out with B from Orlando. It looks like uh, Jason Richko might be playing. Uh, looks like Robert Batson over there. We got Tommy Kennedy playing Carlos Gomes, one of the beautiful diamonds that uh, Jose has here. Lots of great action. Got Nikki Cuellar playing, uh, got some action going on. A lot of good matches going on right now. A lot of new faces I don't even know. Must be from the uh, South Florida area, I'm assuming. There's probably at least 20 people in here I've never seen before. Just what we need to see in pool. Got the infamous Mike D in the hizzy. That's right. He's still, he's still busting it out right now. Really? It's a beautiful day for pool. Yes, You're not in the right attitude. We got Bobby Garza, the legend. In Bobby the Jeezy in the hizzy. Yes, sir. All your roof uh, supplies and it educate you in the game of pool, baby. Jacksonville Roofing USA, baby. Give me a shout. And if you don't get the check, if insurance don't send the check on time, I'll come clean it for you, baby. Put it on my life. You won't have that problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So we got a uh, safety attempt at going wrong Nathan's got a nice shot here it's a long one probably be playing the uh, the five in the same pocket if he can get get this down oh it looks like he's gonna just stun it go across and play the five on the side nope went with my first option look like you're shooting bottom English on that ball either way very nicely done nice speed there by Nathan Rose
Oh, yeah, I forgot. Donnie Mills has been hiding out here lately. we got the, the great Donnie Mills in the house. You probably hear him in the background now. All right, guys, I guess I uh, just forgot a game here. Well, wasn't paying attention. I believe Nathan Rose got that game, by the way. I'll give it to him. If it's not correct, I will change it. My other computer hasn't been running in so long, so 
It's got like Buku's updates on it. Trying to get up and running on it so I can watch the chat and whatnot. So I don't have to keep using my phone. Order something, honey. I don't care. No, it's not. Ball in hand for Nathan Rose. Nice, uh, nice spin shot there by Nathan Rose. Hit that ball really good. He's looking at this 4-9 combo, and it just might be wired. For sure. Even looking at it that direction, it, it, looks, it looks wired. So let's see what he chooses to do here. He's, he's setting up for it, so it must be really wired. Yep. He's calling it, even though you don't have to call the 9 here. This is not league where we make them call the nine. Anywho, so uh, it goes anywhere, it still counts. And there you have it. Nathan Rose makes a very nice combo there. And I believe that's going to give him, let's see, when he marks the score, I'll, I'll mark it. All right, so it looks like my other computer is finally updated. Thank goodness. Let's see if I can get on the stream here and check out all the the chit chat. All right, look like I was correct. So Nathan Rose is now up two to zero against Horacio Jargon. Not even sure how to pronounce that. Just doing it best I can, folks. All right, Marty, um, what's going on with the audio now? Is there something wrong with it now? It should be nice and clear. Yeah, I don't really see why there'd be anything going on. I got brand new mics now, so you shouldn't have any problem hearing me. You might have to turn your volume up a little bit. I'm trying not to talk too loud as I am sitting behind the, the feature table here trying to do some kind of commentating for you guys. So hopefully, uh, appreciate it, Jake. Hopefully the audio sounds good. I might have to turn it off from time to time as people do come up and uh, speak to me from here and there. So do my best to keep the mic on most of the time.
All right, Horacio stuck in between a rock and a hard spot here. Not really, uh, he's going to have to go multiple rails. Looks like three to the long rail, to the end rail, back to the other long rail, and come out, kick the one from behind. Uh, looks like he, there's a two rail. I mean, there, yeah, there's a two rail if he wants to shoot where his chalk is, somewhere in that vicinity. Uh, looks like if he can just miss the six ball, he can swing it two rails. Here we go. Two rails, three rails. It's the only thing bad about playing on brand new felt. It's, it's very hard to, to make the uh, adjustment for the slide on that particular shot. Anytime you're shooting on a long rail like that, you're going to have to uh, make an adjustment for the slide. It's always going to go longer than you anticipate. All right, so it looks like uh, Grossman and Steve Noel. You're on the back. Grossman and Steve Noel. Looks like Grossman just took the lead against Steve Noel. Lead in the race, five to four. Steve Noel looks a little, uh, a little upset about that. All right, Nathan Rose. This was his position he got for the three. Very uh, fortunate the new felt allowed that ball to slide right in, and he got great position on the four ball. He'll be shooting the uh, six ball to the right of where he's standing now. All right. He went a little further than he wanted to go, so now he's going to be hampered over the uh, the seven ball, and he's going to need to play the seven ball in the side pocket where he's standing at. Nice and smooth transition here. Won't be able to force this too hard, so he's just barely just going to just want to just make this ball and just kind of smooth it in and just take what the table gives him. He will should be playing the seven right where he's standing. I think he tried to do a little too much with it. Yeah, I think he tried to get too good a position on the seven and caused him to miss the six ball. Sometimes you just got to take what the table gives you and uh, just kind of let the ball roll forward back out to the middle. All right, so anyhow, Horacio Jarquin uh, doesn't have a lot to choose from. I mean, if he wants to go offensive here, he's going to go a one rail bank to the side pocket where he's standing at. And play the seven more than likely to the same pocket. See what he chooses to do. And there's a safety there if he wants to play a safe with the QR behind the eight, but I don't see him doing that. Look like he's banking all the way on this. All right, so he elects to go the other other side. There's almost no reward shooting it in that corner over there. As you can see, the cue ball is way up table with uh, not really an impossible shot on a seven, but it's awfully tough. So I'd recommend banking it to the side pocket. At least your cue ball went to the other end row and played shape for the seven over here. Just got to smooth this ball in. I believe he was looking at running in the nine ball on that and missed the whole ball and got... Got a nice little roll there off the seven ball. Runs right into it and pushes it closer to the corner pocket. I don't think Nathan Rose is going to be mad about that. All right. Nicely done. He'll slow roll this ball in and shoot the nine in the other pocket. There you go. Nice and perfectly straight in on the nine ball. Take a three to zero lead. There you go.
All right, here's the snap. Horacio Joaquin putting it down. Nice break. Doesn't get a whole lot to uh, to work with here on the nine ball, or the one ball. <laughs> Say the nine because the nine is sitting right there. There's not really no shot on it either, so unless he wants to send a wild shot. Not really familiar with uh, Horacio Jarquin, so not really for sure how he plays. Uh, there was no Fargo listed for him, so I wasn't able to put one up, so I'm not really for sure how he plays. All right, so now it looks like uh, Steve No and David Grossman's really battling it out over there. It's five to five in the winner's bracket. All right, well, that was a nice attempt by um, Horacio. Tried to uh, lay a safety down there, and it looked pretty good. And then the one ball just kind of leaked right in, the, right in the gap there.
All right, so uh, Horacio's letting this uh, match get away from him. He's going to have to put his foot down and keep Nathan in check. David Grossman gets on the hill first against Steve No. Makes a nice, a uh, well, couple of nice shots there. Billy it off the five ball, makes the five and makes the nine at the same time. Nicely done. All right, Horacio has an open shot. He's going to have to develop the six. I'm assuming. If he can make the four, draw his cue ball into the six. Extreme bottom left English. He had to push the six towards the corner, and all he got to do is just hold the cue ball in that vicinity. So he can't put a whole lot of force in this, but at the same time, he's going to need to uh, be a little on the delicate side. I think Carasio saw that happening a little differently. Nathan comes to the table with ball in hand. Three balls left on the table. The right arm would have to fall off to uh, not get out from here. Nathan Rose doing his thing. Haven't seen him in over a year. And he's back at it. Started right where he left off. Welcome back. This is Lights Out Streaming brought to you by Jacksonville Roofing USA. We have Horacio Jarquin to break. Trailing this match 5 to 0 against Nathan Rose. Trying to make something happen. See what he can do. This is Bobby Jeezy Any Heezy, in case you didn't know. Coming straight out of Stroker's Billiards right here in Palm Harbor, Florida. Well, look at the break that uh, Horacio just laid down. Very unfortunate that that one ball just doesn't have enough room to, to put it in the pocket. So he's going to be looking at playing a safe. I mean, he's, he's going to thin the ball. I'd actually like stunning it and try to get the cue ball to freeze behind the five. I mean, he's sending the cue ball up table. It's not a bad shot, but it leaves it leaves Nathan an open shot, and you can't afford to leave him nothing open, especially when he's up five to zero.
Not for sure. You have to get on our website. Janine knows. She knows everything. She does. She's got a memory from Who Done It. My memory sucks. All right. Just like I said, Nathan's got a uh, nice shot here. Nice layout. Made a beautiful shot on the uh, the one. Uh, the only drawback to this is he got two straight on the two. So you're going to have to work some magic for this three ball as it's on the other side of the table. So I'm assuming he's probably just going to draw it straight back and take the bank on the three. And it looks like that's what he's setting up for. And at the same time, it looks like he nudged the six just enough where to go past the seven in the corner pocket. And I'm sitting right behind it, and that's exactly how it looks. All right. Cross side. He wasn't even thinking cross side. So he, Nathan's uh, trying to put him away and be done with it. Not playing around with him. Keep him on the lockdown. Nicely done by Nathan. And uh, here comes Shorty. Call this an uh, aerial attack. It's time to go airborne. He's got a great opportunity to make this ball. Uh, not for sure uh, what he expects to get, even if he does make it. If he makes it, cue ball's probably going to be tracking towards the opposite corner and possibly scratching, especially if he makes it. See how it plays out. All right. So he overcuts the three ball. And uh, looks like... Uh, He leaves uh, Nathan Rose another bank. If he didn't go for the last one, I didn't expect him to go for this one. So he's calling He's calling a nine, but you don't have to call the nine. So he's probably going to send his, draw his cue ball right over there, see if he can clip the nine. And he does. Oh, just barely goes in. Nice shot by Nathan Rose. Nicely done. All right, Nathan Rose to break. All right, Horacio trying to do it again. See if he can get something started here. He's got a nice layout here, two, then the three, seven combo. Yeah, he might be, uh, well, you did have to shoot it with a bridge, but at the same time, it was somewhat of an easy shot. And it looks like we have a hill, hill thriller over there with David Grossman and Steve Knoll. 
Six to six. All right. So just for that, I am going to see if my replay works. Oh, there's our replay. Okay, just want to make sure it was right. Get it working for us. All right, just that I'm doing the replay. Nathan Rose misses a straight in six ball. Wow. I think I will do the replay different. Not really care too much about the way it worked. <laughs> All right, Horacio uh, leaves himself poor position for the eight ball. Nathan Rose is on the hill, so he doesn't have many, uh, many more chances here to try to make something happen. And he's going all in on this one row bank on the eight. Comes up way short and leaves Nathan a nice shot on the eight. Cut that ball in the top left corner and drift his cue ball to the right side just past the side pocket. Should have the nine ball pretty close to straight into the same pocket the eight ball's going in. Wow, he did get straight in on nine. Unfortunately, the eight ball did not go. Horacio, I believe, might be hooked a little bit. Well, he was bringing the short cue. Now he come back and uh, maybe he does have a shot on the eight. He might have a great opportunity to take his first game down against Nathan Rose. Oh, and he does have it. What do you know? Horacio has a chance to take his first game. Down 6-0 to zero at the moment. Can't afford to give one more game up. All right. Nicely done by Horacio. Gets one on his scoreboard.
All right, let's try this replay once again, see if it works. Replayed the break. Hmm. I'll have to work on the on that a little bit later. Adorazio's got a nice uh, safety attempt here. Hide the cue ball behind the three. And uh, I guess he had something else in mind. Double taps the, uh, well, the cue ball comes back and, well, actually the two ball comes back and hits his tip as he's shooting that. And we're still battling out the hill hill over there. We're still barely on the three ball. Steve knows at the table now. A really good match over there. It's hard to tell. Nathan's standing right in front of us. Nathan plays great position on the four ball here. Perfect. Probably will roll it forward and shoot the five on the other side. She's got to make sure he doesn't go past his straight in line. That way he can drift up table for the six ball. Pretty sure he'll just go one row, slide it, maybe a foot, foot and a half at that. And that's pretty good. He's not ideal where he wants to be, but he's got the shot that he needs. And look at Steve No. Scratches in the corner pocket. Gives Derek Grossman ball in hand with the last five, six balls left on the table. All right, Nathan Rose, as you can see, got pretty straight on this six. And he was trying to cheat the pocket and make the cue ball come back. Didn't work out for him. Grossman got ball in hand over there on the six ball, or that was the four ball, I believe. So he's gonna need good position to get back up table for the six ball which is behind the seven where he's standing at. And then Horacio. What a nice thin cut that was. Unbelievable. What a shot that was. Horacio sliced that ball in. And he's going to need to do it one more time on the nine ball to keep his hopes of beating Nathan Rose alive. Trailing the match six to one at the moment. Slice and dice time on the nine ball. Keep this match alive to go 2-6 against Nathan Rose. Overcuts the room rent. Fortunate not to scratch. And Grossman gets pretty good position on the six ball, but he is going to have to bear down and cut this ball in or play safe. He's got a nice safety attempt, but it's hard to play safe when you just know all you got to do is make this ball. Make the ball. You got to go all the way up table and all the way back down and shoot the seven as well. See what he decides to do over there. As Nathan Rose eyes up his shot, it's time to slice and dice. He's got the same opportunity that Horacio just had on the nine ball. His might be a little bit tougher because they are closer to the rail. Nathan slices it really well. Nicely done by Nathan Rose, and he takes it down against Horacio Jarkin, Jarquin. And Grossman makes a really good shot on the six ball and comes up dead perfectly straight on the seven. It's not liking it. Not liking it. 
This is Hill Hill. Three balls left on the table. I'm going to let you guys watch that for a second. We'll get the stream match going here in just a second. Mike and who? Mike and 